Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's matchup will be the Greenskins taking on the High Elves in Valley of Thieves. And this battle was taking took place in the Battle of Legions tournament, the final game. And yeah, it was one of the best games I've seen in quite a while. And was really close. Both players did an amazing job, Tank and Showtime. And if you haven't already checked uh, that live stream out, well, it was pretty long, but I mean... There was awesome games, and uh, I think you, I think uh, Happy Puppy, for helping me co-cast. Um, it, it relieved a lot of stress on me, just because we had to we had to organize it, we had to be, get it going, you know. And tournaments pretty stressful, you know, but that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is a Greenskin and High Elf duel, and we'll go over the Greenskin army comps as, right now. As we have the Goblin Great Shaman on its Ragnarok mount. And uh, it's probably going to bring in some nasty old spells that it will cast and Vindictive Glare. Um, but over here we have two Black Orcs. Uh, the AP Gloonies, two Stone Trolls. Uh, two Archers, Savage Orc Error Boys. And the Durusty Arrows giving that armor sundering. We have two Gobbo Spears. We have the Hammer of Gork. Uh, one unit of Nasty Skulkers. And... The black orc big boss on his hog so be a pretty nasty force to reckon with um but for the forces of showtime we have alario the radiant um on her great eagle and a star dragon along with two shadow warriors two Illyrian reaver archers and three dragon princes along with one unit of rangers that is anti-infantry but um, yeah, that will round off the forces, and let's get right into it. As a Vindictive Glaver, Glare goes straight into Lario, doing a quarter of her HP. And this was like, wow. We we're like, oh my gosh, that did so much damage. And Tang did a great job, and he, he, he literally just like said, Vindictive Glare, boom. And uh, Lario's down to a quarter of HP. Down a quarter of HP. But yeah, we have some cycle charging coming in from the Dragon Princes, and. Not such a good breath attack, only killed like four, well, two black, one black orc, which sucks. But now we have Dragon Princes charging in, getting on Goblo Spears and Stone Trolls and Black Orc, which is not where they want to be, as you can see, they're taking, they're already at half health. Half health, and now they have Shield Thorn, the Shield of Thorns popped on them, and they had a regrowth as well. So, this is bad for them, especially when Gork will fix it, it goes down as well. And looks like another Vindictive Glare going down once again. With, I believe Overcast and Alario already down to past um, one quarter of H HP. And I mean, now she's going to pop the Star Arcane Conduit and she's going to heal up. And I mean, this is a big, 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 big thing from Tank. Sniping uh, the High Elf Lords. As we see Illyrian Reaver Archers commit to melee and try to get on this uh, Hammer of Gork here. Uh, Rangers do get up to the front line and are going to battle the, the AP Gloonies. And they'll be able to cut through them relatively quickly. Um, the AP Gloonies um, will hold. Of course, they're unbreakable. But nice breath attack coming from Showtime. And kills a, one Stone Troll and a lot of Gobos and Savage Orcs. And now we have a rear charge from the Illyrian Reaver Archers into the backs of these archers and black orcs and stone trolls and such. Now we have a charge coming from the dragon princes. And this is just nasty cycle charging coming from Showtime. We have the shadow warriors picking fights on these black orcs right here as well. And now we have these Illyrian reaver archers who are trying to find a little opening. And um, Tank is not able to uh, support his back line. So now Showtime's going to be able to get a rear charge into the back here. Um, dragon princes are pushing in. They're going to try to get onto these... Um, Orc Airboy Archers, they're already compromised, it's already over. And uh, Goblins are getting quite, quite a bit destroyed here. Uh, Star Dragon does dive in, and this could actually be a colossal mistake with all the armor piercing Stone Trolls, um, Black Orc Big Boss, and Goblin Great Shaman all here, giving anti arch and armor piercing. And, um, well, I mean, we have the blockage from the Dragon Princes, they're gonna be blocking, and the Star Dragon does get up. And that is really good for the Star Dragon. That means Star Dragon is not going down today. And another nice breath attack, and it was actually delayed. So he he did a breath attack partially, and then it just delayed and didn't go off, I guess. But now we have Alario coming over, and this is where the Black Orc Big Boss 
is gonna probably get killed. Oh no, actually, he's doing a number on the Star Dragon. And here comes the charge from the Arachnarok. And the Star Dragon almost down to half HP, and this is going pretty bad for the High Elves. And if they're not able to get the Star Dragon, then they do. So the Star Dragon is safe here. And we still have the Shadow Warriors shooting in, and they haven't been compromised or touched. And, well, I mean, they have, but that's because the Rock Lobber, the Hammer of Gore. But, other than that, they haven't been touched by a single bit of infantry. Um, the, sh the Rangers have been dealt with, kind of. And now they're diving on um, the back of Black Wolf Big Boss. So now they kind of need to um, cycle charge in here and save this uh, Star Dragon who has Gorkle Fix it popped on him. And that is a bad engagement for him, especially when the Black Wolf Big Boss comes back, giving the armor piercing. And now we have the anti large in here as well. This is not where the dragon wants to be, and he does. Oh no, and the Black Orc Big Boss is putting a hurt on him, and he needs to get the heck out of it, and somehow gets away. I don't know how that happened. It was just kind of like, what? Like, if you're still being chased by, um, like, any cav or anything, you shouldn't be able to, like, just all of a sudden just go jump up in the air, but I don't know if that's, like, something. But now we have a nice breath attack coming from Showtime. Lessening this Arachnon to almost half health. And we have the Star Dragon diving in as well with the Lariel. And they're going to try to kill as many Black Orcs as possible. But the Black Orc Bib Boss and Arachnon Spider do try to get on the Dragon. And this is a not such a good engagement for the Dragon. It is dropping HP. And it looks like a predictive glare going on it. And that is a big, big, big loss here. And um, there's nothing you can really do about it. Just because of the fact that the Dragon is getting... Halted and now it's not letting now they're not letting him escape tank is doing a great job of keeping this dragon on the floor and it's it's probably going to get up if the black rock big boss is not able to kill it and black rock big boss needed one more hit and the dragon gets away and that is bad for the green skins because now lario has a chance to heal all this uh dragon and with the star of avalon of course and oh no a vindictive glare going down and this is actually big because now it's going to kill a star dragon and that's a that's a not such a, that is a bad 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 thing for the for the high elves and i mean you only have Alariel, and i don't know if she's going to be able to handle both the black orc big bossy and arachnarok spider mounts uh but it's it's definitely going to be hard she's going to have to pick off targets cycle charge um this is where um Alariel could shine here and um we'll see if she's able to do it um, but yeah, Lariel is getting kind of staggered here um, with one hit from the Arachnarok Spider Mount. Now we have the Shadow Warriors charging in since they're out of ammo, and they're going to be trying to do their best. Star of Avalon popped a nice star coming down from Showtime, and this star is going to do a number. And look at the HP just kind of like dropping very little, but do, do, getting some HP loss. So that's good for Showtime and forces. But the Black Warrior Big Boss is hot on Lariel's hit and this is bad this is bad this is bad um i don't know but i mean alario is kind of cycle charging like i said you i mean you kind of have to do that at this moment um just because of fact that um you do more on the charge and look at that just routing the, the ragnarok and this is probably going to be gg guys and I don't know. I don't see any way for the Greenskins to possibly come back. Alara, all that she needs to do is chase off this Goblin Great Shaman, get um, the Goblin Great Shaman off the field, and it's down to the Black Orc Big Boss, who does have immune to psychology, so it won't be running like really shortly. It will stick along for um, a while. But over here, we do have the Hammer of Gore crew, who is running back to their stations, and they're like, all right, if this big blob engagement keeps doing what it's doing, we're gonna get on this catapult and just light it up. And now we have Valario chasing after the shaman right now. And that's what Valario needs to do. Don't worry about the black or big boss, because you can handle that later. Especially with um, all this stuff. But it looks like he um, he is pulling over a unit of Valerian Reaver archers to chase off this goblin great shaman. And I mean that's I guess the right move, but still chase it with yeah, just keep chasing it with these two units at this point. Oh no, but the crew is, is shattered and that sucks big time. And 
I don't know, Black Orc Big Boss is going, getting low on health, and it doesn't look good for him or the forces of the Greenskins. But over here, Alario is giving up the chase, and that is a big mistake, because now the leadership is coming back for the Arachnarok, and it does come back, and now it's going to be able to whoop on these Illyrian Reaver Archers. A big mistake from coming from Showtime right there. You had to chase off the Arachnarok with Alario, and... You kind of gave up on the chase, giving time for this uh, for this Reknock to accumulate leadership. And now it's going to be able to fight for its own. Um, and this is a risky charge coming in from Showtime, but he is able to pull out. And um, that that's, you want it, yeah. I would honestly just come over here and just kill this big boss. Uh, best bet here. And now we have the Reknock coming um, towards these Illyrian Reaper archers. Uh, actually trying to go help uh, Bob out as much as possible. Bob is going to do his best, and we'll see if he's able to do it. Will Bob able, be able to do it, guys? And will uh, Ragnarok come in time for uh, them to win? But Lario is still pretty healthy, and Psycho Charging is so nasty. It looks like actually a Vindictive Glare coming down on Lario, and this could hurt, and it does quite a bit of damage. And it's going to leave her at almost half health, and that is big. I mean, we still have eight Dragon Princes here, quite a bit of Shadow Warriors, a little bit of Rangers, and some Illyrian Reaver Archers, but that's about it for the Hiles. I don't... I, it should be enough. It should be enough. Um, just with the... Um, you could kind of like Swarm, and then Cycle Charge with Lariel, Cycle Charge with Cav. It should be enough, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Dragon Princes are indeed um, charging in here. We're going to get a good charge off into these. This is the sacrifice of the Dragon Princes as they charge into the Arachnarch Spider as two models drop right off the bat. Now three. And now here comes the onslaught of Shadow Warriors and Alario cycle charging, which is the best plan. You want to cycle charge here with Alario, do as much damage. The Shield of Swords pop giving that 22% physical resistance and buff and base damage. Uh, this is going to be really good for um, this big blob here, especially against this Rachnox fighter. And Alario is coming in for another cycle charge. And it looks like Crown of Command, which gives uh, unbreakable stats to the Goblin Great Shaman. Basically, it's unbreakable, can't route. It's going to stay at 100 leadership for the rest of the time here. Um, until, of course, the Crown wa wears off. But now our Arcane Conduit popped, and I think Tank is going to try to get another Vindictive Glare off, and Arcane Conduit popped on Ilario as well. And it looks like another uh, Earth Blood is popped here, and trying to save as much. But now we have a Vindictive Glare going down on Ilario, but the Arachnarok routes, and that's going to be the end here. What a game. What a game. And Showtime showing that He's a good player, and he's able to compete with some of the best, like Tank. And um, they both did a great job. Props to both of them. Um, and, yeah. Um, but, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. That means a lot. And um, thanks for tuning in, guys. See ya. Have a good one. Peace out.